this is how pretty the sky looks tonight. I think that looks awesome. I put it on Snapchat and I don't know, I don't know if you could see it well enough, but it's just really, really pretty. The, the uh, shades of blue, there's like two or three different shades of blue out there. But we're getting ready to turn the corner so you might be able to see it a little bit better. There's a lot of lights around me though, so it's hard to see. So we're in Kroger and they have these gorgeous flowers. I mean, those are beautiful. They have all these out for Easter. Here's their produce department. It's always really, really nice. Um, Sour Patch Kids. But I'll show you the cakes. Their flowers are just really, really pretty. Here are the cakes that they have. Maple bacon cake. That is bacon. Oh my gosh. A maple bacon cake. That is so funny. You could try the cupcake before you bought the You could. That, that would be a good idea. They always have really pretty looking uh, desserts. They look like they've sold a bunch, probably for Easter. It's just a different brand, but. Oh, big fish strips. Yeah, I've never seen that. Brand. Natural Sea. No, I've never heard of that brand. Mrs. Paul's, Kevin, this is new. Garlic herb cod. So is the salmon. Oh, yeah, new salmon. Cracked black pepper and sea salt salmon. Huh. Oh, yeah, that looks good. It looks like their fish department is already closed. It is 9 o'clock at night, though. Yeah, it is 9 o'clock. Yeah, they're they're closed over there. That's the, the fish department. It's steaks. Um, were we going to get a free Friday? Yeah, it's a Friday. We always come down the dog and cat food, but not because we want dog or cat food. Because Kevin has to look in the manager special. <laughs> we have had some really good sales. Some really good stuff at manager special. Now this time, it looks like it's going to be... Yeah, we have found Ghirardelli. We found Lent. This time it'll be empty. Is it empty? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So some of you have asked me, take us shopping with you. And so I'm trying to show us a little bit more when we come in the stores. So we got a free Friday this week for one of the... Oh, yeah. I knew I'd seen it before. Simple. Is it Jello? These are Jello. I don't see pudding. Why don't you Take get uh, Why don't you get uh, mixed berry? How many calories does it have, though? It's not sugar -free. Because see, I would normally get the sugar free. Uh, yeah. See, I, I wonder if they make it in sugar free. I don't think so. That's a, that's not well, you could get the mixed berry if you want, or you could wait. You I don't. Give it away anyway. Yeah, go ahead and get the mixed berry. We'll give it away to someone else. And we do that a lot of times. Look, the pomegranate blueberry says it's new. Do you see sugar free? No. <gasps> chocolate. Chocolate latte. Christina might like that. Yeah, we'll give that to her. Yeah, a lot of times uh, when they have stuff on Free Friday and and we don't want it, we'll just we'll give it to Anna and Christina or Kevin will put it on the break room table. But we always try to pick it up because it's free, you know? So why not? Butter, vanilla, sugar. Looks, good. Looks very good. What is it? White chocolate raspberry truffle? White chocolate raspberry truffle. Oh, and they have it and it's on sale. I can't believe they have it. Yeah, somebody wanted me to try it. $3.99. That's awesome. Yeah. 
It's a really good price. And see, they have the trios, but we we uh, didn't try all the trios. We still have some in the refrigerator. What? The trios, the haagen trios. Yeah, too bad Arctic Zero. I mean, Arctic Zero. Too bad Halo Tops are on sale. I would have bought some. Although, we have a ton of ice cream. Um, hey, Kevin. Do you want to get some uh, new graders? It's new. It's um, strawberry cheese. You just said we have tons of it. I know. We have strawberry cheesecake, and that's new. And then the strawberry chocolate chip is seasonal oh it says new have we not tried that we've had that i know we won't get it and the talenti there are so many talentis out i don't know which ones we've tried which ones we haven't but they never sell a lot here anyway they don't have a big um variety Screaming the Seans are $6.99 here. They're still cheaper at Walmart. I've, big Wheels, have they always had those? Yeah, if you want to try them, we could. Saturday. Uh, today we got up early. We got up at like 6:40. Early for our weekend. <laughs> yeah, Kevin. We we um, Andrew and Christina bought a place at a fort for Gavin and Amelia. So we told them that we would come over and help this morning. And Kevin was kind enough. He always is to get up early for me just so that I could exercise. So Kevin um, looked at the list of things you need to have to make this fort and I wanted to show you. I wanted to actually see how many of these things I could name. Oh, <laughs> you can name? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this could be interesting. Okay, I know. <laughs> I know the drills in here, right? So we don't even need to open that up. The drill, and then you have a, oh, there's more, okay. <laughs> Surely I can get most of this. I hope I can get most of this. So this is what we're taking over there. Andrew probably has some of this stuff, but Kevin would rather be safe than sorry than get over there and not know what anything is. So, um, okay, that's it. Okay. Name the small stuff. Well, I can put that, what is this? Okay, that is a socket set. No. Okay. And then you have, this is a square. No. And this is a level. No. I got two of them wrong in my head. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Ashley's in here watching. This is a mallet. No. Okay. Uh, the um, um, the measuring tape. I, see that. I know you know what that is. Yeah, I know the measuring tape. And then these are both wrenches. No. Okay, that's good enough, right? Wrenches. Close enough. And this is like an adjustable wrench. No. Okay. Wrench. Okay, well, I didn't know crescent, but I knew and that's wrench. A box wrench. And then uh, what makes the difference between crescent and box? Really? Crescent is adjustable. Crescent? Crescent is just, uh, just a regular. Size. Okay, so I still got that. You got it. These are both, they're not screwdrivers. Are they screwdrivers? Yes. Oh, okay. What kind? Of, what kind? You said Phillips. You said what kind of Phillips? <laughs> These are both screwdrivers, and that's the hammer, and that's the charger. Yeah. I got everything. I missed like seven. Well, I did help get everything out. He was like, hand me this and hand me this. So, um, so I got a little bit of practice last night, but I can't believe I knew them all. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're supposed to be over there in five minutes. And we tried these donuts for breakfast this morning. We did this review. I don't know when you'll see it, but we're going to take these to Gavin and Amelia because they, Gavin's favorite thing in the world is a donut. So that's what we're doing this Saturday morning. Okay, so this is the fourth that they're getting. It's a Cedar Point. It says complete set. It's a backyard discovery. And they are actually not doing two swings. They bought a swing for Amelia. So it'll have a regular swing, but then it'll have a baby swing too. And then out here, these are, these are the parts. And they're going to lay them out where they need to go. And then I think they're going to put it together up here. Mm -hmm. 
So happy Easter. We are getting the ham. This is a Kentucky legend ham. It was a, it's from Owensboro, Kentucky. And uh, it was about $13. And how, how many pounds is it? Almost four. $13 for four pounds of ham. So I guess that's not bad. But it's, um, a, honey it's a what? Honey ham. It's a honey ham. There's some juices coming out of there. Be careful not to lay on the cat floor. Yeah, I don't think we realized. Oh, I didn't realize. We didn't realize there were some juices in out. So there we go. Don't want to drop any. <laughs> don't want to drop any on the floor. Now, is it pre-sliced or do you have to slice it? Um, it's not pre-sliced. It's not? I don't think so. Hold on. I'm going to keep from making a mess. Oh, go ahead. Put that in the sink. Yeah, go ahead. I, I thought it might be sliced. No, they've got the not. little they've got the little rings around okay. that. So, and I'm gonna take my clothes and stick in each one of those little holes. Okay. I think um, Kevin is gonna make up his same. Uh, what do you call this? Just a juice, glaze. A, a glaze, a glaze. Um, we have made a canned ham before. I have a video where we did a canned ham, and he made this exact same glaze for that canned ham. So I'm not gonna be like giving you uh, this, so much of this and so much of that. I just wanted to show you what basically what this looked like out of the package. And this is what we're having for our Easter dinner. Um, sometimes, uh, I know uh, my mom had cooked like a turkey breast in the past when there were a lot of people and a ham. But um, today, today is actually off, uh, off for us because Yesterday, um, hold on, let me flip my screen up so I can make sure you can see me. Okay. Yesterday, uh, I told you that we went to uh, Andrew and Christina's to, for Kevin to put together the fort. And they started, we got there right at 9.30. And then by the time they laid everything out on the ground, the tools and all that, they really didn't get started until about 10. And we left there they finished at 5 45 and we left there at about six o'clock so it took it was an eight hour job and i asked kevin this is going to be tmi but i'm just going to tell you anyway i asked kevin in the bed last night i said did you even stop to to use the bathroom at all during the day and he said no did not go one time he said i don't think andrew did either so he did not stop to eat I mean, literally, that was eight hours straight that he worked. So, um, but the, it's beautiful. It's it's beautiful. Um, so, Gavin yesterday, he was fine. Honestly, he was fine for most of the day. He did have his cranky moments, but we just chalked that up to him being three and a half. And during the middle of the day, Christina, Ashley, Gavin, me, and I went to Walmart. He actually fell asleep in the front of the buggy with his head down on the the um, handle uh, while I was pushing him through Walmart. And Christina said he's never done that before. Uh, but he had thrown up the night before. And in the yard that day. Yeah, and in the yard that day. So he threw up the night before we got there. And then... During the day, he, he got a big gulp of water from Ashley's water bottle and from her Yeti cup, and then he threw up. So we thought, oh, he just had too much water. He's been outside playing. It's hot. You know, we figured he's not really sick. So there brings us to today. Um, they're supposed to come over here for Easter lunch, and Andrew just called me and said Gavin was up all night. He said he's sick. He was up all night long uh, throwing up. He said Christina has him at the doctor right now. And uh, he said, I have Amelia here. And I told him, I said, don't worry about coming today for dinner. Um, and uh, I said, what we'll do is we will go ahead and prepare everything. Just like uh, if you were coming, we will eat the stuff for lunch. We'll bring it to you. You can heat it up for dinner. And uh, because... He had thought that maybe I could save it for another time. Well, I made deviled eggs last night. And really, Andrew and I are the only ones that eat the deviled eggs. 
and I made a lot of them, and they're not gonna be good for another week in the refrigerator. So I told him, I said, you know what, it's okay. It's not like we're not gonna have other dinners together. Maybe we can have a cookout or something like that soon, um, but we will bring this, because Andrew's all about, Andrew really likes being with the family. Andrew likes having family time and family dinner. He really enjoys that a lot. So, um, he wanted to make sure that we were going to get together again. I said, yes, we definitely will, but we'll bring this to you so that you can enjoy it. So, uh, Kevin is putting the, the cloves on the ham. The long, flavorous process. You know what, though? It's worth it. And I these are know. whole cloves. I don't know if these add that much flavor. But you take them off before, when you, uh, before you cut it and serve it. You take these off. I always doubt the effectiveness of this. Really? Yeah, I don't think it does anything, but... Well, I'll do it anyway, because that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> I think it does. So I just want to let you all know what was going on. Uh, Christina took Gavin to the doctor, and they did a strep test. It turned out negative. And the, he, uh, they don't think he has the flu. It might be his appendix. So uh, she, uh, Emil, uh, Christina dropped Amelia off over here and Christina and Andrew and Gavin have gone to Lexington to find out if Gavin has appendicitis. So uh, Amelia's here, she had dinner with us, uh, had Easter dinner, and we're, Ashley and I are, uh, well, I'm getting ready to take her for a walk. I don't know if Ashley's going with me or not, but I'm gonna take her for a walk to, uh, to pacify her, and she's, you hear, she don't, you don't hear her right now. She's being really good, uh, but it's a beautiful day, so um, that's what we're doing now. So these trees, these are uh, dogwood trees, and they're in full bloom right now, and I wanted to show them to you because they're very pretty, and they're only out in the spring. Here's another one here. So we're walking through College Park, and it looks like this is a good day to be up here because there's hardly anyone here. And uh, uh, Kevin and I have showed you up here before. It has a, it's a dome shape. Um, but it, yeah, it used to be a library. There used to be a, it's called College Park because this used to be a college. And there used to be some great big buildings up here when we first moved to Winchester. And then they uh, tore them down. But this was the library. And those are the doors. So I wanted to get back with you about Gavin because if I don't do it now, then I'll forget to do it tomorrow. Uh, they, um, Amelia was here until about 5.30. Uh, so she was only here, she was here for like four, four and a half hours, something like that. Um, but Gavin has a stomach bug. <laughs> you know what? It's okay. Um, I'm, I'm glad that he just has a stomach bug. Um, I think that's awesome. I would much rather them take him and be overly cautious and find out that nothing was wrong with him than have uh, uh, his appendix, uh, something be wrong with his appendix or uh, they could rupture or anything like that if they didn't have him checked on and then something was wrong. So I'm so glad that they went ahead and took him. I think Amelia had a good time here. I think she was probably a little bored. <laughs> Although, we gave her the toys in her Easter basket. She acted like, honestly, she acted like she could have cared less about them. We kept them here, though, for her to have. Whenever we give Gavin his Easter basket, we will give her um, her stuff again in her Easter basket. And hopefully, it'll be like, oh, new, new stuff. You know, she won't realize that. She's already looked at these before. Um, we did give her an outfit out of her Easter basket because we took her for a walk and then when we came back, she was kind of dirty and um, so we, we stuck her in the bathtub for a minute thinking that she would want to play in there for a little while. She did not want to play in there at all. She didn't enjoy it. It was just um, uh, more frustrating, honestly, for us, I think, and for her. That to, for us to, to get her out of her clothes and get in there and then have to get her back out. and So anyway, we did give her a new outfit that we put in the Easter basket. But whenever we give Gavin his stuff, she'll get her stuff. And I don't know when he'll get his Easter basket. So, you know, that could be 
uh, this coming weekend or it could be you know in the middle of the week I just don't know but I'm so glad that nothing's wrong with him um, it's just you know because that would have been it would have been horrible for Gavin number one very horrible for Gavin but it would have been hard on Andrew and Christina to to have you know him having surgery in the hospital in a hospital and out of town and then to have Amelia here um, because I would have had to have kept her I'm sure and it just would have been really hard so but praise the Lord nothing's wrong with Gavin so I wanted to get back with you before I forgot and uh, didn't say anything and you all would have been like what happened with Gavin <laughs> Well, you all said, or some people said, you all, uh, that I should weigh my bananas. So, I'm going to eat a banana, and I have not I have not been weighing them. I've just been assuming they're 100 calories a piece. Uh, I feel like I'm in for a shocker, though, so I hope not, but I think this goes way over 100 cal calories, probably. I uh, read online that 118 grams is 105 calories. So, we'll see how many grams this is. Oh, wow. So, it's 105. It's about 105 calories. This is 116 grams. So, 118 grams is 105 calories. So, that's... And actually, it went down to 114. So, that's that's not bad. Let me see if it's the same if I break it and weigh it. Yeah, that's not bad at all. 105 calories. I can live with that. So, um, they're pretty much what I thought they would be. So, that's not bad. Well, we got two cards in the P.O. box. This is from Molly in Redwood City, California. Oh, and it's an Easter card. It's beautiful. It says, Dear Tammy, Kevin, Ashley, and family, Happy Easter. I hope you all have a very blessed Easter holiday filled with lots of love, family, friends, joy, and family happiness. Thank you for everything that you do. Take care, Molly. This is beautiful. Mm, it's a very pretty card. It's sparkly. I love that. Thank you very much. These are made by Wendy Poo. Wendy Poo. W I N D Y. Poo. P O O. Mm. www.wendypoo.com. It has a vintage look to it, it, and I love vintage. So, okay. And then we have one from Laura in Texas. She wrote L, but I know what the L stands for, so. <laughs> and, oh, you have to put one of these on the top of it so because, oh, knocked off. It's look pretty. at that. Isn't that neat? Paper. And it even has grass. I'll show it to you. It says, Dear Tammy and Kevin, we hope you and the family are enjoying springtime. We saw that good old George is back out uh, in front. Uh, Mark was excited to see it. Mark, uh, her husband Mark, is uh, English, so he, she's talking about George, Saint, the St. George flag, uh, the flag of England, and um, I'm thrilled that George is back out there too. Um, we have been busy planning a big move from Houston to Florida. That is a big move. That is a huge move. You'll have to let me know where in Florida you're moving and why because, I mean, like... The weather's probably not that much different. It's probably not. But if it's like the Orlando area, then I know why you're moving there. I know the um, humidity's probably worse. <laughs> um, so we have lots of planning to do. We are also going to England to visit Mark's family and friends in June. I'll, I can say... I was about to not say when, but you all don't know her address, so, okay. Um, and then on to backpack in Europe with no real direction. Wow. Uh, we're just going to wander and explore for a few weeks. We are quite excited. We still watch you guys all the time. I wish you all the best. Cheers, Laura and Mark. Um, I think that's awesome that you get to go for a couple of weeks. That's cool. Uh, that is wonderful and i'm sure mark will be glad to be back home for a little while and i'm also um sure that he will pick up all the snacks over there that he's missing that he can't get here like the pot noodles and stuff like that yeah you need to see this card that is adorable well you will have to tell me you're gonna have to stay in touch with me and let me know I want to hear all about the trip. I would love to hear about the backpacking because I, I don't think we could I'm way too lazy for that. Yeah, we really like the, <laughs> the Premier Inn. 
<laughs> like, I walk a lot, but I don't really walk around with a backpack on my back. People from that live in the United Kingdom, they're like, Premier Inn is no, no big deal. It's like a Holiday Inn. That may be true, but they have the best beds, and I've heard that they are known. They are well known in the United Kingdom for having the best beds. And that's all we you, use it for anyway. They do. Yeah. We, we, we shut down at the end of the night, watch, watch some videos on YouTube. Yeah, um, but we're gone all day long. Yeah. It's not like we eat a spend snack, any time in there. Eat a snack and sleep and shower. Or shower yeah. and sleep. We don't sleep and shower. We shower and sleep. Yeah. Get up in the morning, eat a snack, and go again. So we're not using anything more than just a sleep. No, bag, it's so. the same thing at Disney. That's why we've never uh, spent a lot on a hotel room at Disney. Yeah, because no reason to. we are gone all day long and then come back to the room at night. Yeah. Uh, in England, or uh, the United Kingdom, all day long we're gone and then come back at the end of the night. Yeah. But the bed... It is nice, but it's nice, and the, the, I I like the hotel in general. The that is true. It was easy to get. So friendly, and it was so to. close. I mean, it's right there uh, at Westminster Bridge. Yeah. It is amazing how close you are. You're air right there in the middle of everything. So if in, during the middle of summer, you do have. Some this air is the premier in Waterloo, not yeah. the one across the street. Not in County Hall. The County Hall does not have air conditioning. No. I would not stay there again. But I love the Waterloo location, which is right across the street. Anyway, we've talked about that before. I'm very, very excited for you all. But thank you both for the cards. We appreciate it. I actually bought this card stock from Walmart. How much was this? Do you $5. know? $5. Five uh, dollars. No, because it's expensive if you go to like Michaels or Target. For 30 sheets. And I wanted to show you how it looks because it's so pretty. Um, there's that one. There's that. I'll just go through them. that. I love that. Anyway, I won't show you all of them, but I'll show you a lot of them. There's one in here I like. It's uh, there's a yellow. It used to be the style to do your wall like this. Say, that looks like nineties walls. Uh huh. A faux finish. We when way back when Andrew, I'm thinking for his twelfth birthday. We redid his bedroom, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that was a 12-year-old's dream, haha, -ha, um, <laughs> to have his bedroom redone, but we did a faux finish on his walls, and it looked good at the time. At the time, it was in style. We bought him uh, new curtains. We bought him a comforter, all that, and um, he was very, very happy with it, uh, but that was the style was to do a faux finish, and it was a... Um, it was like a camel color, kind of like, a, I guess, like Guido color. It was a plastic bag and just in a lighter color. Yeah, we took a plastic bag and you went over it like this and something uh, darker, didn't we? No, lighter. Lighter? Ooh, that's neat. That is neat. So anyway, that's what you get. I thought that was cool. So Kevin went to a meeting today. It was the first meeting he'd had since he found out that he graduated. Yeah, I actually missed this meeting last week. To, 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 to go to go get yeah. your doctorate. Yeah. Um, so he, they gave him some balloons. They also gave cupcakes. Oh, I didn't hear they about the cupcake. I forgot. I, yeah, he forgot. I <laughs> forgot to mention that. He conveniently forgot. What kind of a cupcake was it? They were little. I don't know. They were just little cupcakes. They were good. They were really good. Um, and then I got a card. Um, this one's from... Karen, that's uh, works right outside my office. That's cute. That was nice. And this one, uh, this one's from ALT, which is the meeting I went to, the academic leadership team. Um, but everybody and everybody it. signed it, so I thought that was cool. Yeah, that was very nice of them to yeah. do. They're that the ones that gave it the card, the balloons, and the cupcake. I just got out of the shower, and I'm standing out here in my night clothes. <laughs> But I had to come out back because it's so pretty. I hope that this is coming through on the camera. The colors that are out here right now. It's really, really beautiful. So today is Wednesday, and I know I'm in the dark. Ooh, now I'm in the light. Bad light. <laughs> um... But I've been reading the comments. Kevin and I reviewed the Blue Bunny Monster Cookie Mash, and I have my hair pulled up because I'm getting ready to clean. Um, Kevin and I reviewed the Monster Cookie Mash Blue Bunny ice cream, and neither one of us had ever uh, had or 
if we've if we've had a monster cookie like a cookie full of stuff like um chocolate chips and and um M&M's and stuff like that, then we've just never heard it called a monster cookie. We've never heard it referred to that way. So, we, it's hard to hold a camera and do what you need to do at the same time. So, we did not know that I was thinking monster cookie means huge cookie, monster cookie, you know, arr, monster. That's what I was thinking. I didn't know they meant that they put like little M&M pieces in it. Well, let me tell you though. That does not count. What they put in that Blue Bunny ice cream, I love Blue Bunny. You all know I do. There's so many flavors that we have been so impressed with. They, I don't think they should be able to call that Monster Cookie because those little specks, they put like cookie dough pieces, which are regular size cookie dough pieces, but so they're already small. They're regular size cookie dough pieces. They're like pellets. And in these pellets, there are little specks. You don't taste M&M or you, you just don't. I just, I don't consider that monster cookie. Because you all have told me what monster cookie is. And that's not it. Because uh, you all have said there's M&M's or mini M&M's. Those aren't even mini M&M's. Those are like specks. Like little bitty specks in there. So, no, that does not count. So... Anyway, I wanted to tell you all that, that even though now I know what Monster Cookie is, I still have the same opinion. It, uh, because that shouldn't count. Now, is the cat in the closet? Get out of the closet. Get out of the closet. Come on, I want to close the door. Don't you hate that if you have cats? You, you're fearful of opening any closet because if you do, the cat will run in there and they don't have enough sense to come out. Come on. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Get get out of there. Come on. Idiot. Little idiot. That's what I like to lovingly call him a little idiot. Oh, and Guido, speaking of little idiots. <laughs> no, you know I love Guido. Guido has been jumping around at the door when he likes to bark at people when they leave sometimes. So, he's been jumping around, and like he's a young pup. Oh, I see. I thought he had hurt himself. He was limping. I can see what the problem is now. He has his claws crossed, and when that happens, here, hold on. When that happens, it makes him limp. Hold on. Let me fix it, Guido. Let me fix it. Hold on. Mama's not going to hurt you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, you can't do that. Let me fix it. Oh, Guido. Hold on. Come here. You're acting silly. Stop. Well, I got it, but he didn't want me to. Anyway, I know I sounded mean, but I really wasn't being mean. He had his claw, one was crossed on top of the other one, and when that happens, it makes him limp. So, anyway, now I have to get up off the floor. <laughs> we've been doing, we've started the new exercises, okay? And we're convinced that they're trying to kill us. Really. I'm doing stuff, I'm doing exercises that I have not done since elementary school. I promise you, since elementary school. I mean, even basic stuff, for example, I know the laundry's behind me. Even basic stuff like doing this number and just holding your arms out, we did that last night during the strength. And that's fine. I mean, that's that's fine. I don't mind doing that. But that's an example of what I'm telling you all that we have to do. And then there's one that I absolutely hate that we did in Cardio 3. And you, you jump down on the floor and you put your legs in and out. I don't know if I can set the camera up to show you real quick. It's horrific. I don't know if you'd be able to see me. Okay, so you can see me. Okay, 
So you're standing up and you have to go down, in, out, and then back up. Well, by the time I get down on the floor, <laughs> they've already done one or two. <laughs> and, and they're still da 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 da. And I'm like, every time. <laughs> I noticed every time I would go down and come back up, I'm going, oh, oh, <laughs> this grunt is coming from me. And Kevin, Kevin's knees, it's gotten so bad that he cannot do any of the stuff that requires a lot of the knee, um, a lot of the bit the bending like when you use during strength when you use the bands and you have to put the band on your oh, you can't see me when you have to put the the band on your knee and then you have to like go forward and bend your bend your leg and go forward he can't do any of that stuff because it hurts him so bad so uh you know that's just that's it's like, I told him, I said, we can quit if you want. And he said, well, I don't want to, I don't want to quit completely. And he said, I just can't do those things that I just can't do those exercises. Uh, because, you know, we do plan on going on vacation and the whole vacation is walking. I mean, that's all you do is walk from the time you get up in the morning until the time your head hits the pillow. It's not Disney, but I mean... It's as much walking as that. It's as much walking as Disney. People, I feel sorry for for people who go to Walt Disney World and think they're gonna have um, uh, like this vacation where like a relaxing vacation. Disney is not a relaxing vacation at all. Disney is, to to me at least, uh, to us, it is a. Um, uh, working, uh, I mean, but it's fun. It's really, really fun. And I mean, we have fun when we go anywhere, but it's just, it's not like you're lounging around on the beach. Kevin has to be able to walk. So Kevin cannot do a lot of the bending. Um, anyway, I'm going to get ready to clean. I'm standing here in front of the laundry basket because the first thing I do on cleaning day is I start the laundry. So the laundry's going while I go into the bathroom and I clean the bathroom. And I brought the iPad um, because I really like uh, turning on a video and listening to that while I clean. And I have found a new channel that I absolutely love. Speaking of Disney, I'm sure if you all like Walt Disney World, you already know about this YouTube channel. Um, it's called Diz Unplugged. It's D-I-S Unplugged. And they mainly focus on Walt Disney World, which I'm glad they do because that's what I'm interested in. Disneyland um, is in California, and we have never been there. Um, but it's not like I have this deep desire to go to Disneyland because it's one park and it's just not as big whereas Walt Disney World is four parks and there's tons of stuff to do I mean just tons of stuff to do um it just I'm not saying it's better I'm just saying it's bigger and I've been there that's why I like listening to them so it's called Diz Unplugged and they it's like a radio show but you can watch them too and um, they talk about all kinds of things. I love their videos because they'll like give the five worst restaurants in Walt Disney World or the five best rides or um, I just watched one uh, yesterday. It was from the beginning of the year. It was like the first video at the beginning of the year and it was talking about the the five best things and the five worst things that they did in 2016 so the previous year and so i really really enjoyed hearing about that because um you know i've i've heard a lot of things and i've got a lot of tips and stuff we've been like four times uh but it's always nice to hear what's going on now and to keep yourself informed of that stuff for when you go back because we absolutely will go back. It's it's just a fun vacation. And 
for Kevin especially, it's an easy vacation. It's, it's a very easy vacation to book. It's an easy vacation to go on um, because if you stay at a Disney World Resort, then, uh, I mean, everything's done for you. The, the bus will pick you up in the morning and take you to whatever park you want to go to. And then you get on the back on, uh, bus at the end of the night and you go back to your hotel. Or you can, if you get the park hopper, you can go from one park to another during the middle of the day. Um, it's just, it's an easy vacation. You, there's no thinking involved. Um, so we will definitely go back, but it's, it's really cool hearing about, um, you know, it just how, just their opinions of things and like, uh, things that are overrated and then things that you have to do. Uh, I just, I really enjoy listening to them. So that's what I'm going to do. They had a podcast that came out yesterday and, oh, and, and I like them too because they're like an hour long. So it's perfect uh, for, for this, what I'm getting ready to do. It's perfect to clean and to be able to listen to them, but not necessarily have to watch them because you can watch them. I mean, it's just them talking, just like I'm talking to you. There's nothing going on. Um, but it's perfect to listen to while you're doing something else. So it's an hour. I think they found a piece of the cats have found a piece of dog food under this cabinet here because I hear something. I'll get it while I'm cleaning. So anyway, I'm going to get to work and I will check back in with you all later. So I have to show you, this is what they do when I'm cleaning. Uh, Guido's here and Parrish is over here. Chapel, I'm sure, is upstairs. Chapel knows that the vacuum cleaner is coming out. As a matter of fact, I'm getting ready to use it now. So Chapel is terrified of the vacuum cleaner. Parrish, however, is not afraid of anything. And he um, waits to see what I'm going to do next. It's like so exciting. Mom's cleaning. She's going to do something magical. So we have to follow her from room to room. Sweet baby. So anyway, I am getting ready to use the vacuum as a matter of fact. I'm just finished with both bathrooms, but I just think they're funny because I come out here in the hall and here they are. I go in the other room and there they are. Kevin and I have two boxes to open uh, for you. This one is from Smart Choice Protein, and they contacted me once again on Instagram, and they told me they wanted to send me some cookie dough. It says, please store cookie dough in a refrigerator and donuts in the freezer. Thank you. So, we have peanut butter chocolate chip. Yum. Fancy. So, we're going to put this in the refrigerator. It sounds awesome. You know I love peanut butter. And okay. we have Monster Cookie. Uh, we've had this. Monster Cookie. Have we, haven't we had peanut butter chocolate chip? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that does look familiar because it has uh, we, We've definitely had Monster Cookie. Uh, we'll have to, I'll get Kevin to walk in the bedroom real quick and look on the... Oh, s'mores. Mm, that sounds awesome. S'mores. And that is... I'm almost positive. And that's all the thing. They said something about donuts. They did, but there's no donuts in it. I am almost positive that we... Do you have it up on your hand? I think so. Um, because we've tried, like, the... They sent us some, like, white chocolate chip pumpkin and... and uh, Peanut butter chocolate chip. Yes, so we have had this before. So, yes. So we s'mores is the name. Have we had? So we've had peanut butter chocolate chip. Yeah. Okay. So s'mores. And a peanut butter cup. Okay. So s'mores is their new one. So I think these look like a little bit smaller containers. Um, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna keep them in the refrigerator. Thank you very much mm -hmm. to Smart Choice Protein for sending me these. I really appreciate them. These are absolutely delicious. Uh, and this is the s'more, so this will be the one that we re do the review on is the s'mores. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator, though, and keep it in there for a while um, before we do the review. So, in the next box, 
is from Laurie in San Antonio, Texas. I'm going to slip away really quick. I'll open this little, the little card. I want to get these. I want to get these in the refrigerator as soon as possible, just <laughs> because Smart Joy sends this to our P.O. box. Ooh, flamingos. Tammy and family, hope you had a wonderful Easter. This is a combination box, some things you have reviewed before and liked, and some new items I thought you might like. I didn't include prices, sorry. That's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a gift for Gavin. It's a transformer. Tell oh, Andrew, sorry, it's Gavin's. Ha <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. For real. laughs> That's funny. Um, I also sent some kids shampoo conditioner for Christina to try. That's awesome. I wanted to send the Whataburger uh, patty, patty melt. melt sauce but I couldn't find it. Next time, I promise. Believe it or not, um, how my family- I couldn't fit it. I couldn't fit it. She, sorry, she couldn't fit it. She yeah, couldn't fit it, sorry. <laughs> um, believe it or not, how my family in New York is hooked on it too. Um, I should buy it by the case for yeah. all the people I send it to. And buy stock in it so you get money. Right? Yeah, <laughs> hope you enjoy your package and congrats to Kevin. Thank you. Oh, my Thank love, you Lori. Much. That is so sweet. Very sweet. Yeah, I'm just going to hand you stuff. Okay. We have, gr she asked me if I liked olives. I do like olives. These are organic, Mediterranean organic green olives. They're green pitted olives with herbs. Sun kissed in the Mediterranean, it says. So uh, it says refrigerate after opening. So you buy them just like mm -hmm. this. So yes, I do like olives. These are new. These are original ancient grain granola. You have, uh, oh, the, the name of them is Purely Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. And this is the original. And this is pumpkin fig. And cranberry pecan. I have never ever seen these around here. Mm -hmm. They are made in da, 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 Boulder, Colorado. Yeah, I've never seen those. So that'll be fun. Okay, these are snackables cookies. They're Barbara's and they're oatmeal cookies. They look like uh, like animal crackers is what they look mm -hmm. like but they're oatmeal. This is Nature's Path. I like, really like the Nature's Path brand. Uh, this is a chocolate crispy rice bar. And these are so good. Um, Amy's Organic. This is the chewy uh, soft caramel with pecans. And this is the rice crisps, almonds, and caramel. Uh, these are amazing candy bars. Um, love them. Okay, and tea. Uh, we have Stash Premium. This is Lemon Ginger Herbal Tea. This is Ginger Tea. This is by Triple Leaf Ginger Tea. And Oolong Tea by Triple Leaf. Oolong. Oolong. Okay, these are coconut coconuts, coconut milk caramels. Sounds good. JJ's Sweets. And these are made in Boulder, Colorado. So I wonder why you get all the Boulder, Colorado things in San Antonio. That's cool. These are Yummy Earth Organic Lollipops. And it looks like there's all kinds of flavors mm -hmm. in there. A bunch of them. Okay, yeah, you have strawberry. It looks like grape, peach, mango. There's all kinds of flavors in there. That's just so Oh, food. wow, how cool. Clean Kids Naturally, Tropical Orange Burst Shampoo and germ busting soap and that's made in washington bellevue washington gabriel cosmetics inc.com that's cool i've never oh, seen wait, those before oh 
This must be, oh, okay, foaming bath. I thought it was maybe conditioner, but usually kids don't use a lot of conditioner, but that is so cool. Christina's gonna uh, really like that. And Christina really likes uh, natural stuff anyway. Mm, she's so a she will, she's, so she will appreciate that. Uh, these are awesome. And I had no idea they sold these in these packets. Do you remember these cookies? Mm. It's H-E-B's The Nutty Blondie Cookie. Bagley. They are so, so, so good. And I didn't know they sold them like this. I mean, is that, would that be at the register that you can buy a single cookie like that? I mean, literally that's. For a snack pack, one of the boxes you get a bunch, you get, maybe get a bunch oh, of. Oh, yeah. Like you can get Sackwells and right. Oreos. And, I don't right. know, I mean, I that's don't That's neat. You're talking I'm about like a, like a Lunchable. No, you get the boxes of little hundred calorie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Or little things of Okay, I got gotcha. you. Okay. I mean, and they're individually know. wrapped. Yeah. Okay, I'm not thinking like that. Okay, this is, oh, you and Andrew. Yeah, I think we, we all had them, but I'm thinking you and Andrew did the review. I don't know if I was in this review, but I remember trying them. Oh, he knew we were in the If microwave. I wasn't. Yeah, you might have Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I can't remember if I was in the review or not, but yes, these are awesome. And this is Goody Girl Cookies Chocolate Chunk, gluten-free. I can tell you shop in the healthy section of the store. Yes, that's okay, because it's good stuff. Okay, these are Equal Exchange 55% Dark Chocolate, and some of these, some more of these, uh, Cocoa... Uh, Cocoa Mel's are in They're here. Yeah, these are vanilla. They have original too. and vanilla. Like a it's original. Oh, original, original. I think two vanilla and two original. Yeah, so there's all kinds of little goodies in there. Orange Crush. This should be very fun to try. Yeah, those feel like Twizzlers. And I love Orange Crush. I like uh, Grape Crush too. Okay. There's the transformer. There's the transformer for Gavin. So this is for Christina, and this is for Master Gavin. There's some coffee. Coffee. We have H E B Cafe Au Lait, Taste of San San Antonio. You have a premium roast and a uh, I'm sorry. You have a medium roast and a light roast. So you know I've never seen those. Oh goodness. This is coffee. Coffee. Ticino, 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 or I was probably Ticino because it didn't have an H in it. Uh, this is chicory herbal coffee, caffeine free, acid free. You have hazelnut and you have mocha and then you have vanilla nut. And it actually has a little pamphlet here. Oh, and there's a coupon and everything. Yeah. Well, good grief. Mm -hmm. That's neat. Santa, uh, Santa Barbara, California. Okay, this is um, Health bar. Warrior. Uh, Chia Health, bar. Yeah, Health Warrior Chia Bar. This is Vanilla Almond. And this is Coconut. Cool, cool nut. No, I've never seen these before. Maybe, I mean, Wonka. maybe I have. Kazoozles. Kazoozles. These are strawberry watermelon. They look like um, the ropes. The ropes. They yeah. look like sweethearts ropes. Yeah. But these, are, yeah, these are different. I don't think I have not seen these around here. So those, that's odd too that there's a Wonka that we wouldn't get around here. It says the ropes, so it's just. Huh. huh. Cool, I can't wait to try them. Hey, this is an H-E-B glaze, pineapple sriracha. You put it on, um, it's shrimp, saying shrimp, fish, fish or bow. But it's or, got a it picture, has a picture of, of a chicken. Chicken and a, a pig. Hmm. How much do you have to have to do it? Because you have some uh, Pam in the refrigerator right now. No, you need more than that. I mean, I, this is like you put it on a whole thing and bake it. I have um, I have some chicken in the freezer. I might put this over. Your what? Chicken? Oh. Chicken breast? Oh yeah, I think it's for more than that though. Because I was thinking we could. Like you've got it. tilapia in there. 
Then we'll probably go with a whole pack of tilapia. Yeah, but this is a lot of chicken too. Uh, is that much? Yeah, because mm -hmm. it's Ashley's and she doesn't want it. So uh, this she's like two chicken breasts. Though. It's it's they're big chicken breasts though. Maybe. We'll see. We'll yeah. see what we're gonna put that on. This is Chinook Cedary Patch Green Chili. There's some parts. Yeah, I love some flower seeds. A fourth of a cup unshelled is only 170 calories. So, that's, that's good. Like <laughs> ah, she loves me. <laughs> These are, they're amazing. They're just amazing. I absolutely love these cookies. These will be mine. Uh, I doubt Kevin will eat any of them. I love them. I mean, I literally like them enough to like, I will not eat something to save, save calories, save room in the day for these because they're that good. Um, these and some that Eric had sent me way back, um, they're HEB, um, they're caramel, and those two are like my favorite cookies ever. Yeah. And last thing, Whataburger spicy ketchup. Whole and thing you definitely have tried that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really good. Me and Andrew both liked it. Yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think there's a couple pockets left in the Excuse refrigerator. The, the I haven't had anything that used ketchup lately. Yeah. This is incredible. Mm -hmm. Thank you Thank so you much. And I, you sent us a ton to try. I mean, I know you sent us stuff that we have tried, but you sent us a lot of things to try. Mm -hmm. So. Um, there will be a lot of videos, <laughs> um, a lot of videos coming out soon. And um, so thank you very, very much. And uh, look for that uh, Smart Choice, that S'mores review coming up too. Um, I'm a little behind. So you know that, and you gotta, you all know, you've gotta give me time to actually uh, do the video, you know? Uh, so. Yeah, we can't eat it all in one day. Can't eat it all in one day, exactly. Well, and we're still, videos are still coming out of things that uh, Sarah sent me from right. California way back. So I'm pretty far behind. Um, but uh, just know, you know, in the next few weeks to look for your videos and then they'll be out. So we, um, we try so much, uh, do so many reviews that sometimes I just don't remember everything we've tried. So I wanted to come back and tell you all that even though we have tried the Amy's Chewy Bar, we had not tried the Crispy Bar. There is a Crunchy Bar, and I think that's the one I was thinking of. So we will be trying the Blue Crispy Bars, uh, but we've already tried the Chewy one, so we won't try those. Um, well, I mean, we'll eat them, but we don't want to do a video of them. Also, um, I, this looks familiar, but we haven't tried it. This is the chocolate crispy rice bar. We've tried the peanut butter choco. So, I remember really liking those bars. So, we'll definitely try those. So, for the most part, Laurie sent us a lot of brand new things to try. But I wanted to tell you all that we definitely would be trying these, um because we have not tried them yet. So, I showed you this paper earlier in the vlog, and Ashley had bought it because, she bought it at Walmart, because she had to create a geology project. And the project was something that she would use with her students. And Ashley's gonna have smaller children, so chances are she won't really use this with her students, but that's what the teacher wanted them to keep in mind. So, she um, she worked on this. She cut everything out, um, each each individual thing, and described it all. And I'm not going to go through all these for you, but she uh, she got this bound and laminated, and it was very expensive. It was a lot more than I would have thought it would be, um, but it does go A to Z. Um, and it, it, it does look really, really nice, but you all won't believe this. It was, um, $56 for this, but she better get an A. I'm sure she'll get an A. I'm sure she about died when she found out the price of it, but $56 and it's done. Um, but it's really nice. They did a good job. She took it to Staples. If you're curious, a yeah, state, don't show me, but, um, the reason it was so expensive was because that paper is like 12 by 12. 
And so they had to use like their industrial laminator and they actually hand cut every single one of those out for me and bound them. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's why it costs yeah, more. Yeah. So if you go to Staples, make sure you call. What's the normal size that they do? I don't know. I don't know. But I think it was maybe like 11 by 10. Okay, okay. No, it's 11 by 17. 11 by 17, and this is 12 by 12. So this was just a little bit too big. So if you are going to do it, cut it down to the right size, uh, and then it won't cost you so much. But I think they did, they did do a good job. Well, here we are again. It's funny because I started this vlog at the beginning. We were on our way to Kroger and we're on our way to Kroger now. And I'm going to end the vlog here because I know it's about an hour long, if not over an hour long. And uh, I just, I hate to go too much longer. Uh, but we just, we went to Walgreens and I was looking for the new candy bars that are out. But of course, our Walgreens does not have them out yet. Um, I was able to pick up the coconut Hershey Kisses, so I was glad to get those. They had their Easter stuff 70% off, so I did pick up some stuff uh, uh, for Easter, and you will see that. You'll, you'll have seen that before this in the grocery haul. So, um, but we're going to go to Kroger now, and I don't think we've looked at their Easter stuff since Easter. We haven't, have we, we haven't been, been to Walmart anywhere? Well, we haven't, we haven't been anywhere. Well, did Ashley and I go? I don't know. I don't think I've been anywhere I since Easter. Been. So, we will probably be looking at all the Easter stuff that's on sale. So, this week's haul might have a lot of Easter stuff. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I will see you next week and thanks for watching.